Okay, some of the things that we're going to show you here very quickly is uh, we've got standard um, vertical information here. Uh, we can adjust the sensitivity, we can adjust the location. We could turn on multiple channels. Of course, like I said, this is a four channel unit, and uh, so all four channels are now on the screen. They each have a different color. And I've got little little uh, tags over here that show you channel 4, channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. Uh, one thing to note is that each channel, as you cycle through this button here, will allow it to be turned on or off. And uh, once that channel is on, it's showing you that this is channel 1. Here's all the characteristics of that channel. We can change the input impedance from high, high input impedance down to uh, 50 ohms. We can turn invert on and off. Uh, we can change the uh, button here that allows you to uh, adjust coarse or fine. Units are currently in volts, but we can change it to other units here. It's got a bandwidth limit. Now this is a 500 megahertz uh, oscilloscope, so we have the ability of uh, selecting 20, 100, and 200 megahertz. Coupling can be AC, DC, or ground, and I think you'll find that that uh, is very useful. Some of the new Agilent scopes, I understand, will not uh, allow you to select ground. So that's the four uh, input channels. We've got a triggering menu over here, mode switch, and we can just cycle through this. You can see a little enunciator over here going from automatic to normal to single sweep. When it goes from automatic to single sweep, you can see it also changes up here. It's got a little enunciator and a little light. Menu setting, we can change the different uh, types of, of uh, triggering. Now, keep in mind, this is a fully loaded scope. So this has many different uh, things that we can trigger on, including RS-232, I2C, SPI, CAN bus, flex ray, USB, all those goody things. Change the source. Now, this is also uh, the version that has the 16-channel logic analyzer, so it also has the ability to select, uh, to be able to trigger from all those different inputs, D0 through D15, plus some of the other, other uh, items. Slope, we can change the slope sweep uh, back to exactly what we were just at and then setting allows you to do coupling and hold off. So that's a fairly complete uh, set of characteristics for the scope.